prettiest of days so I'm just it just when the sun is out just makes you feel so much more alive and bright but it's a good day so far um working on some things trying to get things done before we leave for break next week um and I'm saying as if I get like a full week or something off it's just you know we get we work a half day next Friday and um we have the weekend off and then we actually get next Monday the Monday after next off so somewhat I, I consider it a break because it is somewhat of a break but anywho um, I am on my way to uh, the bank I need to make a deposit and I'm gonna probably grab some lunch of course and then head back and finish up some things and then um, I was thinking about later on today after I get off I was thinking of getting me trying to find me a uh, birthday fit because I don't even mentioned this y'all this is so weird that I haven't even talked about my birthday the entire time I've been doing these the, the 12 days of vlogmas I haven't even mentioned my birthday my birthday is actually Monday coming um, today is Friday of course um, but my birthday is coming up and I'm going to do something special on Sunday and then Monday is my actual birthday I'm going to go to dinner dinner go, I'm going to go to dinner with my parents so cute too when we go out and do things so I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear so and I don't think I have anything that I really want to wear at home so I'm thinking I'm going to go uh, find a birthday fit today after work so I think that is on my agenda today I'll see how I feel about that once I get off because you know after you've worked your eight hours sometimes your mind your attitudes about things change a little but I feel like today would be a good day to get that done so I don't see why I don't see myself changing my mind so uh, we'll see but I'll, of course I'll bring you along um, Monday not Monday Sunday um, we're gonna go to Top Golf I have not been to a Top Golf there's different locations here in South Carolina but I haven't even been to one yet um, but I'm excited to do that it's just something different to do I know it's not the most extravagant of um, celebrations but we're gonna have some friends hopefully my best friend Brianna can join me um, and her and she and her boyfriend and then I know my husband's best friend and his wife um, I think they're still planning to join us so I'm excited there'll be a lot of fellowship going on this weekend because don't forget tomorrow um, I have um, um, I'll be meeting with my my friends my my girlfriend so I am excited about this weekend a lot of fellowship so that's always great but uh, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead I'm heading to the bank and then grab some lunch and then head on back to work but I uh, just want to give you a summary of what's to come all right guys <laughs> y'all <laughs> it is now almost 7 30 at night I left straight from work and I decided to go now I get off at 5 I left straight from work and I went to get my oil changed I did not go to my normal place that I, I regularly go I went to a different place um, I get there get the oil changed it was a little more expensive than my normal place so I was already kind of like oh my gosh didn't really mean to spend this much I leave and something told me just to check my, my uh, bank account just to make sure everything went through because it was a little weird where they had to hold my debit card but I already had a receipt as if the as if it had already processed so I was just like why am I why are you holding my debit card and I already have my receipt so I checked my app and I see where I was charged twice so that means and I paid with a debit card now, if I paid credit I would just disputed it and it would have been cleared off but since it's a debit card like it took it out twice I was charged twice over $200 almost yeah 240 or something so I had to go back to the oil place y'all I just left I just left from there it's 7 
almost like I said almost 7 30 I probably got there around 5 30 ish why <laughs> so apparently they've been having technical issues with their system and I, I just think it was just something happened to where I was just charged twice and then not only twice I was actually charged again another $120 and this only happened, I don't know how this even really happened. I um, I was with the manager, he was so very helpful. He was really trying to, oh y'all, it's getting dark, hold on. That's my husband calling, trying to figure out if, if everything got resolved. So, sorry, as I was saying, I got I ended up getting charged yet again. And this was so weird because I, I was I was right there with the manager. He was trying to um, do the do a credit refund, and I don't know how it had somehow it charged me again. So I was charged three times, y'all, three times. And mind you, I did not even want to pay this the the, the initial amount because I was like, gosh, this is so much higher than what I normally do. But I got paid. I got charged three times. Oh, uh, so. And the system is acting wonky. It's just slow. It's just not doing what it needs to do. So I just had, I literally had to stand there the entire time. And they were trying, they literally, literally were trying to help. And they, and I think we somewhat got it resolved. It's still kind of weird because I got, I got two credits back, but I'm just, um, the, the manager said he wanted just to refund me the entire amount because I had to go through that. So we're waiting for that last one, but, um, I don't know it's just it was just like oh my gosh I only like take five I, I, I was like there for almost like two and two hours I mean if you well an hour and a half maybe but it was just crazy I'm just like oh my gosh why and you know y'all know I said earlier I wanted to go and get me you know, a little cute little outfit for this weekend and, and things and I just don't know if I even have time now we'll see but that was my adventure for tonight. I did. I had no idea that was going to happen. None. I had no idea. But that's what happened. And you know, I'm I'm really glad that I kept my cool. I was I was getting frustrated when that third one hit, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I was just like, okay, what y'all doing? Like, are you going? I'm gonna end up spending a thousand dollars here if y'all don't fix this system. So, but I'm I'm really proud that I I kept my cool. Um, I wasn't going to show off on those people because I knew literally it wasn't really them. It was the system. They were trying to, and, they, and then they were trying to help. Now, if they were just acting like they didn't care, it might be a different story. <laughs> but, like, they were literally trying to help. So, I, I was, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not one to act ugly anyway when things like that happen because I've been on the other side of, you know, registers and things and technology just not working in your favor and you got and you got a customer standing in your face trying to you know looking at you like are you gonna fix this you know so i've been there i've been on the other side so i wasn't going to act a complete fool or anything like that and um i just didn't want to act that way and then it's just i mean that's not christ like to be that way anyway so they were very they were very understanding um i mean they they seem to that they seemed to be appreciative of how understanding I was and you know I was I, I'm probably still show that I was frustrated but um I was trying to be as patient as I could because I'm just like oh my gosh like oh I had stuff to do I didn't want my my account to just be going down and because it kept taking money out of my account so it was just it's crazy I guess for things like this I need to make a habit of using my credit card versus my debit card and then because you know it's just easier to to dispute um errors and things but that's what happened that's what happened to me now i'm going to try to head over there to tj maxx and i don't know and rainbow and see what i can find uh, with whatever energy i have left now because i've just been standing out in the cold trying to get this resolved for like a whole hour and a half and um yeah so that's what happened to me um but y'all just goes to show that people um really watch you they I just one dude there uh one of the uh attendants uh he had dreads i believe and um he, he had dreads and i remember him um 
they were all kind of there was three of the three guys they were all kind of joking around like oh man all these transactions we're trying to get done free straight for you man in the morning you're gonna wake up you're gonna have about 5k in your bank account and all this and that and i'm looking i'm like well i don't really want that much I, I want what i'm supposed to get i want my refund of what i what was taken from me i don't i'm not trying to you know get banked from errors you know and um and he and they kind of looked at me like Hmm, well, she's different like you know and then that the one guy that that guy with the dress he asked me he was like well you know if 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 somebody if somebody if it's if a church cash app you five grand would you keep it and i'm like well are you saying do you mean as in a gift like they gifted me or or or, or were you mean by accident not by accident i am not keeping money that's not mine you know um but if per se if someone wanted to give me a love seed or like a gift or something that's different a gift is a gift but someone sending you something accidentally no you refund it i said i don't know i don't i don't play with god like that now no ma'am no sir and they were i don't not sure if they're believers or not but they were kind of saying yeah that'd be karma and all the, the karma talk and i'm like well i'm just not playing with god i pray that i made an impact in that way as in you know how i carried myself and even the manager kept saying like some people would you know most people being here flipping out and you're just so calm and i'm just like yeah because i'm calm but I, I still want my money and um but yeah i just i just you really have to be careful about how when th even challenging things like this happen how you carry yourself because sometimes we're the only jesus people see and so we have to really be careful about how we show up in this world you know we're um you know called to be the light and we're called to be the salt of the earth and so we have to really you know even in these uncomfortable times like i did not enjoy being out in the cold a hundred an hour and a half waiting for my refund that i didn't know for certain if i was even going to get back or not and um so you just, i think we just re it's a lesson learned we have to be careful about how we show up in this world because we literally could be the only church the only jesus that people see and um that matters that really does matter so that's that <sighs> I wanted to take y'all into the store but i think this is it this is this is just this is just a lesson learned <laughs> for this vlog is just to to be patient be kind and you know pray and ask god for strength because i did pray when i pulled up knowing i had to go back and get when i had to turn back around and knowing i had to try to get a refund i was like lord give me the right words to say i literally said that to myself i said lord give me the right words to say i don't want to go ahead and act fool and tear up these people place i wouldn't i wouldn't do that anyway but i'm just saying um yeah just just be just be mindful of how you show up in this world when you represent the king that's all all right y'all i'll see y'all tomorrow bye <laughs>